six, nine, Hello guys, today we come to you with another video and this time it's about the Creality K1 Yes, it came in two days ago <laughs> and we were working on it, trying some prints out we got some, you know, prints that came out of it pretty sleek but the machine needs some more testing before we can actually say if it's a good machine, great machine or not so what I want to talk to you about today is fully blown fluids working on your Creality K1 and here is the evidence that it's working so this is let me say home aisle see it is working and it's connected I tried it I print with it it's all fine and I'm going to show you guys how to install it pretty basic installation I don't know for how long this will work because Creality might come up with a update and they might close the gates so you won't be able to use this exploit where did we get this uh, exploit from it's Russian friends who actually two guys uh, who made this uh, exploit and I've been talking with them you, you can use this on your videos and you can make a video out of it so I needed to ask them first if it was allowed uh, because you never know why <laughs> they might get into trouble or whatever I don't know that's why I wanted to ask them first without even going to even thinking about making a video out of it so anyways guys I'm going to set my PC up so that I'm going to show you step by step I'm going to keep it basic you only need to install uh, one or two programs from those program you will be able to use the exploit when you use the exploit you will be able to have your fluid interface on your Creality K1 so you won't have to use any more the uh, standard <laughs> fork of the fluid uh, fork of the clipper that Creality wants you to use you will be able to use f a fully blown fluid so guys all you do is you download this shadow.g code file here you press it and then you download it once you have the shadow g code file you turn back to to your Creality home screen and when you're at your Creality home screen you just go to file here and then you import it and then you import the shadow.g code file upload it onto your printer here as a file here shadow.g code that we just downloaded from here and then you download this file which is the k3d uh, k1 exploit file h.html and once you download this you open it up after we have placed it onto our printer the shadow.g coder exploit and once it's open you get this screen and here what I tried is method A which is you just type in your IP address and it will automatically SSH to it it didn't work for me so you might try it but you know I will tell you what worked for me which is method B method B is you type in your IP address you press method B and it will automatically go to your go to your Creality home screen here and it will take the shadow.g code file and the exploit will happen so once that is all completed you go to your WinSCP program well you have to download this just type it in in Google you will find it it's really easy I will also put a link uh, in the description and uh, so you can just download from the link so you come here you just type in your printer's IP address which mine is this um, and then username you type in root and password is Creality and then you say uh, well you have to change this also to SCP instead of SFTP um, only SCP works and password is Creality without any capital letters so you say login you will get this screen and here you press double click here and then you double click on the ETC and here you choose init.d this file so I'm going to show it again etc here and then init.d and here you have to find the file s50ngin.x so s50ngin.x double click it you will get this notepad file so here you will see that there is the hashtag yes mk directory which is here there will be a hashtag here and also a hashtag here so here and here the hashtags you just remove them both of them 
and then you just press save which is here you just save it it would automatically send the file to your printer so i'm gonna just close it because i already done it and then the second file you have to change the hashtags you actually you just removed hashtags that's the only thing you have to do which is also uh, the s56 uh, moonraker service which is this file double click it and on this file there is a hashtag at the start which is let me check the start here here should be a hashtag so you just remove it so when you remove the hashtag which is uh, like this one <laughs> so if you don't know what an hashtag is no worries this one is a hashtag so it, whatever the hashtag is it's i think it was here and you just delete the hashtag same thing you just save it and then you close this file as well and guys that's it that's it for the exploit so what you have to do now is close this I'm going to say no. Okay. So that's it for this exploit. What you have to do now is restart your printer. And then you have to use your IP address of your printer and double point 4408, which is the port that you're going to use. This is the open port for the fluid. And you just type this in. Don't mind this hashtag. Because see, guys, I just do it without the hashtag. Your fully blown clipper is ready for your K1. And guys, this is something that Creality doesn't want because they locked us in into their own interface, which is, just take this away, which is this one. So you don't have any options whatsoever, um, which is not really nice of Creality. Yeah, Creality doesn't want it for uh, security measurements, like somebody would break their printer or uh, fiddle around too much or something. But yeah, they should let us get to just a regular clipper if we want to. So anyways, guys, this was a tutorial to install the exploit. And I want to thank the creators of this exploit, which is Xtander Forge and YTK. So YTK and Xander Forge, thank you guys for making this exploit available. Uh, for the public and we hope that if Creality closed this uh, exploit that we will still have a way to use fluid like this clipper a fully blown clipper which is like you know what we are used to from also uh, from before and also sonic pad I guess they are thinking of implementing sonic pad to your k1 maybe in the future I don't know but maybe that's why they are closing it up and you know not letting us use it that way anyways guys thank you for watching this uh, tutorial video uh, i hope you liked it because i'm really glad that my printer that just arrived two days ago that i got this uh experience with it and i'm really pleased to know this exploit and being able to use it and also being able to share it with you guys so hit the thumbs up if you like the video hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future bye